Hey guys, Mama Grinch here and welcome back to another video. Today, we are trying out a product that I saw on Instagram actually. I'm just scrolling through my saved pictures because I do want to give a shout out to the profile. It was, and pardon me for probably slaughtering the pronunciation, but Abe Zavako Beauty. It's like trend mood, but from Japan. What I basically tried to say is that I ordered this product immediately when it was available and we are talking about the Givenchy Beauty Le Soin Noir Protection UV Compact SPF 40 PA3+. This is... well honestly that's where the problem starts. I do not know what it is. I've always been scrupulously honest with you. It comes with a QR code here on the Unicarden and you can, you know, scan this with your phone and then it actually tells you everything about the product but it also really doesn't tell you anything. In my opinion, this is a hybrid between a moisturizer and an SPF with a little bit of coverage. So not enough to qualify as a foundation but maybe a tinted moisturizer. It also looks like white and black marble. I am obsessed. We're gonna do a dedicated video, as you could tell. This was so pricey, we're gonna talk about everything in detail. If you want to know what the... Le Soin Noir Givenchy Protective UV Compact SPF 40 PA 3 Plus is, does for me and my skin, then stay tuned, you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, cause we're heading for the millions. At least in my head. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them in real life too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos. Normally every Mondays and Fridays, always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. I bought this for 114 euros. We like spending cash. We like spending cash. Sometimes we should stop. I could not find the US dollar pricing quite yet. I'm positive that this isn't out in the States yet. It will come probably beginning of March, I guess. I never ever reviewed Shimoshi on my channel before. For all of you who don't know, Shimoshi is the iconic brand that we have to thank for this image. Audrey Hepburn's breakfast at Tiffany's dress. I have a picture of that dress in my room because it's such a moment, honestly. She's got a point. My little brother loves their fragrances, but if you're new on this channel, you probably don't know this about me. I am not the biggest fan of designer houses going into makeup. Just because you have a fancy business in one industry doesn't mean that you can just slap your name onto something and uh, sell it for a lot of money in another industry. I love their fashion, like I really can appreciate it, but just in beauty I normally stick to luxury brands that really got famous for their amazing beauty products. And I'm not gonna lie, if you're in a price category of Sisley Paris, you're gonna have to perform. Because normally I am only willing to spend that much cash on Sisley. We're gonna see if this is Sisley quality. You're even pricier than the Sisley Foundation, and that, 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 I can't get over that. Let's see what this is all about. Exceptional black and white cream in balm texture combining revitalizing black sap, trademark, extract from vital algae and rebalancing French algae. So this is algae extract. To be fair, algae or seaweed, I'm gonna call it seaweed because that's easier for me to pronounce it. Can be very fancy. It can be very pricey. We all know La Mer, their miracle broth is seaweed, and that costs a lot of money. So that makes sense that, you know, seaweed is in the air, it's fancy. The product provides protection against UVA and UVB rays, as well as daily aggressions. After application, areas of shine are reduced, so it's mattifying. Skin complexion appears more even and radiant. Do you get my confusion? Let's go to the ingredients. Okay, the main ingredient is water, which is the universal solvent. You have dicapryl carbonate. You have trimethicon, which is silicon, so this will be blurring. You have glycerin, which is very hydrating. Okay, a form of salicylic acid, as far as I'm concerned. Let me double check that. You have some fatty alcohols, which we stand. They're amazing. Magnesium sulfate. Okay, fragrance. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All luxury brands use fragrance. Oh, okay, that's fancy. You have fermented bacuchiol extract. 
That is great. It is quite low in ingredients that though, but I do like that. That's fancy. That's a fancy ingredient. It's like an, as far as I'm concerned, vegan alternative for retinoid. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't think that this is overly special. Yeah, okay, the ingredients don't wow me. Let's open it up. Let's see. There she is. Yes, queen. Cold hard shiny plastic in black. Does not feel expensive at all. Death to all of them. Oh. Like, uh, wow, that one. I at least wanted some weight. I do like the Shimoshi imprint, the, the free cheese here. You see that? I think this is refillable. It looks as if this is refillable, which is great, but I'm not quite sure. There's also a complimentary primer that retails for the same amount of money. Okay, it comes with a magnetic closure, at least something. It still feels very cheap. Generous size mirror. I do like that. One of these puffs. That one feels very good. Very puffy. I do like that. I'm not gonna lie. And here comes the product. You guys ready? This is first impressions. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. It looks so cool. That looks... Ah, this is... Yes! Okay. I know... I, I, I was sold... I was sold by that marble moment. Oh my god. I'm so... I'm so cheap. I know. I'm so sorry. It actually doesn't smell overly fragranced. I'm gonna assume you guys in actually for the application process. Should we... Should we touch it? Oh my god. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna have to. It is... That's greasy. <laughs> that's greasy. And it has a little... <laughs> It leaves a great tint. Yeah, it smells like sunscreen with a little bit of fragrance, but like not not too bad. That that is great. That's not good. Oh, it's great. They told us to go in with the puff as if this is a makeup product. So let's do that. The product is on. Let's see. Let's do one side. That feels so thick. Oh my goodness. For whatever reason, it looks greasy on camera. Like, I try to work it in into the skin. But, like, in real life, if you touch it, you feel nothing. It doesn't feel moisturized. And it doesn't feel as if you were makeup. Is it doing anything? No. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Oh my god, can you see? Can you see here? Oh my god, it's literally like... It's grey. Let the heat flow through you. Yeah, I really didn't do anything to my skin. It's a, it's a basic SPF, honestly. Put in a cheap, cheap plastic compact. And the last time we have a lot of product fails. I mean, do I think that this is a bad SPF? No, like it, I feel it sinks in quite fast, honestly. Like I really do mean that. But like 114 bucks. Wow, that's, that's a choice. We're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. You guys, I'll be back in a second and we're just gonna go about our day with no coverage whatsoever and see how this wears. Hey you guys, so this is my, let me double check, the five hour check-in. Today was uh, turbulent, to say the least, I did not vlog anything. Nothing dramatic. What is also fine and, and not dramatic but really not overwhelming is uh, this product. I just, I think it's a sunscreen that is advertised to be something more than it really is. Is it a bad product per se? No, I do not think so. I really want to go on camera because I do think initially I was quite harsh on it because honestly I was very disappointed. Now that the hours passed, I am not disappointed. I'm just realizing that this is really a basic product that I spent way too much money on. I'm gonna continue on with my day and then we're gonna do a final check-in later, but I think I made my point quite clear. Hey guys, so welcome to the last and final check-in. Today we're gonna make it a little faster than normally. It's not even been eight hours. I think it's a good product, it really is. It is an SPF and I think this should be more clear on their official website they need to to change the description because it's not skin perfecting or anything like that it doesn't uh, cover imperfections it's it's just an SPF you see it in the beauty lights it's dark outside like my skin 
looks a little oily, a little greasy, which most SPFs do. That's that's fine. I uh, think it's grossly overpriced. That's that's basically my review. Is it a bad product? Not necessarily. Would I recommend it? In my personal opinion, no. I I would not. I just constantly have to think about the fact that this is over a hundred bucks, like this is it's just way too much, it really is way too much. And I also think the skincare properties in there are a little lackluster, like they could have done more. I made my research about the uh, Le Zois Noir line because this is not the first product they released. And as far as I'm concerned, they gifted this to some influencers and they made like reviews about it, but after then no one talked about it anymore and they continued on releasing products but like it really didn't bother anyone so I do not think that uh, Givenchy Le Zois Noir Protection UV Compact is uh, worth that exorbitant amount of money definitely not there are brands where you can get SPFs for this price category such as Sizzly, you can get one from La Mer. We recently really did not have a great time with product reviews like a lot of the products we reviewed uh, really sucked and I'm gonna have to put this one on the list unfortunately. You guys let me know if you have heard about the Le Zois Noir line. Um, I would really love to know that. If you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell and without further ado I wish you all a great Friday and a beautiful weekend. We're gonna see us next week on Monday. Mm -hmm.